Hi everyone, welcome back to another interview series. My name is Meher from Newfoundland and Labrador. And today I have the privilege to interview Tony Botello from Vancouver from West Coast. Hi Tony, how are you doing? I'm doing very well. It's nice to be on the on the on the show. Thank you for being here. So Tony is the managing director of the UBC Career Center. He was awarded the prestigious STU Conquer Award for Leadership by the Canadian Career Development Foundation in 2019. And he's also the recipient of the Mo Tatar Award of Merit by the Canadian Association of Career Educators and Employers in 2022. So Tony, my first question for you is, what advice do you have for maintaining uh, motivation and managing potential setback or rejection by employers during the job search while staying focused and achieving long-term careers objective by job seekers or students or new immigrants? Yeah, yeah, no, it's an excellent question. And I think it's actually one of the key questions um, is, and I think one of the things is, First of all, try to stay positive. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I think that's an easier thing to say than yeah. to do. Yeah. Um, and because, you know, it is, it's, it's, it, it can be a very vulnerable period. It can be sort of an emotionally draining period. And, you know, people have all, you know, everyone's experience is a little bit different every, and everyone's pressures yes. on themselves are a little bit different. So, I, you know, I, I don't want to say that sounding trite because I, underst I understand that, like, you know, how difficult and stre stressful that period could be. Um, but yeah, but do what you can. Uh, stay uh, positive and 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 also treat this as a it's a process. Yes. And every interaction is a learning experience, mm -hmm. right? It doesn't always feel like it all the time, and it doesn't mean that the experiences and the rejections and the disappointment aren't painful. Um, but each opportunity, it, you can learn something and glean something from each experience. Yeah. The other thing I say is during this time, don't forget to access your resources. Mm -hmm. uh, again, acknowledging that that's going to be different for everybody. Um, but if you're connected to some sort of institution. Again, if you're a student, um, there could be career centers. If you're yeah. connected to community organizations, there are people, there are or, you know things in those organizations that exist specifically to help people like yourself during these difficult periods. Right. So please, you know, take advantage. Uh, you know, that's why people like me and the places I work, why we exist. Yes. The other thing is, uh, and remember your personal uh, resources or things that are important to you. Uh, ideally, uh, we all have a network of positive people who can support yeah. us yeah. during these people, right? Again, yeah. not everyone has that. Mm -hmm. um, so, you know, as much as you have whatever that is, either locally or through other networks or using uh, you know, phone, email, Zoom, to stay connected who are positive people in your life. Yeah. Um, and also, be sure to engage the in the activities that nourish you or bring you joy, mm -hmm. right? Like I said, you know, we think of it, it is a process. And I know all of us who've gone through job search, I know I've, you know, went through, you know, gone through periods of my life of being unemployed. And, you know, that, you know, when, when you're in it, you just, you never, you don't think it's ever going to end. Yes. Uh, but, but for most of us, it does. Mm -hmm. uh, and then when it's done, it's like, oh, everything's okay. But it, yeah, in the moment, you know, it is tough. So be gentle on yourself, be kind to yourself, take advantage of those resources, connect with positive people. And, and again, and make sure to engage in stuff that nourishes you and and just keep doing things generally, whether it's in community with family, volunteering, you know, mm -hmm. keep doing stuff. Yeah. I tell the students or the clients I'm helping have a schedule, you know, maybe Monday morning, as you mentioned, mm -hmm. volunteering and maybe in the yeah. afternoon you post something on LinkedIn. Tuesday morning, uh, you can connect or do informative session. Maybe in a Tuesday afternoon, take a break. Wednesday morning, uh, apply for jobs, follow those companies that you want to work, comment on them. And again, if you're getting stress, anxiety, go out, go for a walk, go to a gym, speak with someone. And again, use your resources, tell your friends that you're looking for a job and celebrate your wins. Even if you applied for a job and you didn't get, but you did the interview or you got selected. So those are the small wins that you need to celebrate. And it does help to be stay positive. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I love all of that. I, I really love the scheduling, particularly for people, you know, yeah, if you're unemployed or, or out of school and you suddenly you have this time, yeah, oftentimes people just see this lump of time 
and oh, I can do all this. And then it actually, they don't do things and that's where yeah. you can get into these ruts, but just scheduling in those different things. And again, as well as scheduling time for yourself, mm -hmm. it actually makes it much more manageable and also more likely you're gonna do these things. Those are great tips, Tony. Thank you very much. For the audience- well, the best tips were actually yours. So, <laughs> so for, those, for those uh, watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Tony a couple of questions. I'm going to post them on a daily basis. Kind of a journey with us. You can like, share, or comment on the videos. So tune in next time for a great question with Tony.